This is the very first episode of Takeover Tuesday. Ellie, my niece, is going to take over my channel today. Ellie did all of the filming and the editing all by herself. I'm really proud of her. She has her own YouTube channel. If you have any questions for Ellie, you can leave them in the comments below. She's going to share with you what it's like to work in my store because she works here every Saturday. So let's get into Ellie's video and I will see you on Thursday for another DIY video. Hey guys, it's Ellie. I'm taking over Debbie's YouTube channel only for today, so don't you worry, she'll be back. But what up? I am working at House Vintage and I'm gonna take you through a day in my life working. The thing is, is you gotta put on good music so the customers will like you in the store, of course. So. We're listening to Jack Johnson. Second thing is, we're gonna sweep so it doesn't get dirty. So, watch me sweep and clean. Yeah. So, right now, we're gonna make a shipping order. So, first thing you have to do is take this down. This pad right here. This. That's our logo. We're gonna put some uh, dark dust in there and some white dust, and those things are both really awesome. Check them out. So my aunt was telling me that when you ship something, it all gets thrown around like this. So we don't want that happening. So we're gonna pack it up. You guys get to watch my skills of packing. Rip it. In there real good make sure nothing wiggle that is a tutorial of packing a box does not look very pretty but it works that is how you make a beautiful box I mean I'm gonna paint this stool thing so first I'm gonna start sanding just because it has some pokey things and we don't want that sand it really fast good now we are gonna paint it so we're gonna paint it with some mermaid tail my favorite and some carnival red Woo! so and you always want to paint the bottom first as my aunt says so we're probably gonna give this about two coats and when i started working here Debbie made me paint a stool and it was the funnest thing ever and it actually turned out really good and this is super easy to use. I'm painting upward now. I finished the bottom so. Two coats. Paint in the top. All around. We are just about done. Now my favorite part is waiting for it to dry. I finished painting this thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we're gonna start on the red. Put some paint on our paintbrush and I love trains and how much noise they make. I finished the bottom of this. It's all perfectly red. Ready to fight. Okay, now we're gonna paint the top. I hope you guys love all the different angles I am uh, doing. So, yes. Let's start painting the top. Right, so I just finished painting this red. Woo! Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Got my hair stuck and painted red again. So now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Waiting for the paint to dry. Wait in, wait in, wait in. Alright, it's dry. Now we can finally distress it. So, if you guys ever heard that saying, part of being a good cooker is being a good cleaner upper, well, with painting, it's part of being a good painter is washing out your brushes so then they don't dry up and you can paint again. So, that's And that, my friends, is how you clean a brush. So now we're inside the store and we're gonna start distressing this. So we're gonna take a white washcloth, or it doesn't have to be white, but a wet washcloth, and um, just gently go over it. Get the under layer of the blue. We 
are going to get the back. Even though people don't really look at the back of things, we still want to get the back. Do it 100%. See that blue awesomeness? So now we're distressing the bottom of this. I took my beanie off because it's so hot. We are going to finish it by putting on some liquid patina to give it that finished look. So you squirt some in a rag like that and then you start putting it on and a little goes a long way. So remember that. Here is my masterpiece. It came out awesome. You can see it. It's really cool and it will be in the front of the store with a chalkboard sign on it. So I had a great day at work and now I'm closing up the store but I hope you like this video.